to the CPS report. In that time again, we're doing another five breakdown of one one sixty six live in Qatar this Friday, first of March at half past four uh, in the afternoon South African times. With me breaking this car down as always is brother Jedi. Brother, how's it going? Gang life. Gang, gang, you say. It's good, bro. Uh, Just hot. It's yeah. scorching in Cape Town today. I'm sure it is much hotter there in town than it is here in New Zealand. Uh, it is dense there. But anyway, without further ado, let's kick it off with a massive event, three title fights that's taking place. And we'll start with the main event with the middleweight MMA World Championship on the line. That's a rematch between Renier Tereda and Anthony McLean. I'm not sure if you saw this guy's fight uh, the first time, but it was a brutal, brutal knockout. Yeah, I watched Italy. it, but yeah, I did watch it. Um, yeah. Antoli, dude, the Russian mm. guy is a beast. Malikin, yeah. Oh, yes. he's, he's, he's a beast. Like a brick. He's, he's, he, reminds me of yeah. the, he reminds me of the thing from Fantastic Four. Oh, he's dangerous, bro. <laughs> dangerous. Um, look, the but, fight was very short, eh? Let's just put that out. Yeah, it wasn't enough yeah. to showcase what the game plans would be like. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I went back and I watched a couple of his other fights. He he smashes guys, bro. He smashes he's dude. Pretty but strong. this is he's a natural um, light heavyweight. This is that middleweight. Yeah. So uh, 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 we'll see. is a naturally fighting middleweight and light heavyweight, whereas Anthony fights heavyweight and light heavyweight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he's uh, he the uh, Anthony might find it difficult even to make this weight. Ooh. to perform well at this weight. I think so, they're doing the hydration we'll tests see. soon, so if they, let's see if you mix the weight. Because like you said, it's a good point. I thought they were fighting that light mm. anyway. That's a massive drop then, for, for Anthony. So the weight cut could yeah. be the thing that could be a big factor in this yeah. fight. He might is, drop a lot. Yeah. But the Reda, bra, the Reda guy, I mean, he, he's the champ. He's very skillful and stuff. He's going to just have to be durable, because you know this Anthony <laughs> dude come. Um, Come with the force. Yeah, the red is big, big attributes. So he's he's his uh jujitsu is grappling and yeah, he kickboxes really well. Um, but he, he usually smothers his opponents. And then what I noticed was in the first fight, he was unable to grapple with Anthony. I think Anthony was just too strong to be. So, really so basically Anthony shut down then his best offense, he shut it down mm. completely, and that's that was a big factor for me. And going to this fight. Is is Renier Dreda going to be able to utilize, which I doubt, the grappling in this? Or is he going to be able to stand and stand and kickbox with Anthony? Because uh, yeah. Anatoly, Anatoly is oh, he's a freak of nature, dude. But he's through. He might ragdoll this guy. He might ragdoll him. He has the potential to do it and to knock him out again. But yeah. I think the middleweight thing is a big, big factor in this fight. I think yeah. fighting that weight class is probably the biggest question mark in this fight for me. Um, yeah, more so than the different game plans yeah. in the camp. Do you have? Yeah, opinion? I didn't perform at losing so much, losing so much weight. Mm. That's for me also the big thing. Mm. Is he gonna be the same kind of guy? Yes. Yeah. We'll, and we'll, we'll and will he will he be able to go more than more than three rounds, more than two rounds? Because usually he ends the fights quite early. So that's gonna be the biggest mm. factor going into this one. And for the end of can he not get caught in the storm and then clipped again like he did in the first fight? That yeah. might be the thing I can stay, stay wary of. Do you have a pick for this one? I think Anatoly knocks him <laughs> out two rounds. Round two, Anatoly knockout. I think if it mm. goes longer than two rounds, I think the Reda has got the chance. But uh, yeah, I'm yet to find, yet to see the fighter that's going to withstand the power of the, the thing, <laughs> the Russian monster. <laughs> Uh, but that's going to be a, a little rematch to watch. And then moving on, speaking of rematches, we have another rematch. Uh, Tang Kai versus Tang Lee in the featherweight MMA World Championship. The title's on the line. Tang, Tang Kai being the champion, he won the first fight, five round decision. I think it was unanimous. I can't remember if it was unanimous or split. Um, the pretty evenly match, if you're asking me, they got the similar style. They're both heavily boxing. boxing uh, yeah. Heavy. The heavy boxing fight is more so than anything else, really. Um, so that's pretty much what it's, what it's gonna come down to again for me is it's gonna be the stand-up fight and um who's basically gonna land their best combinations and get the knockout, really. I mean they weren't able to yeah, knock each other I, out the first time. Yeah, I think it's gonna go to decision again, to be okay. honest. Um, mm. I think just in the first round, that dude Tang Lee obviously got hurt. 
Mm. I think he tore ligament or some sort of thing like that. Yeah, yeah. He he got hurt, so he couldn't really fight. Um, I don't, like I'm not a big Tang Lee fan to be honest with you, mm-hmm. but I think it's gonna <laughs> be a very competitive back and forth kickboxing style yeah. fight more than a grappling fight, like more than an MMA fight. It's so gonna be like a kickboxing yeah. fight with some grappling. Yeah, and if it, if it goes to grappling exchanges, I think I give Tang Kai a bit of an advantage there. You know, Tang Lee was actually an ultimate fighter once upon a time. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm not yeah. a big fan of him. I've so, watched him fight from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, so that and he, so you kind of know what he offers. He knows he offers the very yeah. boxing style. Yeah. Um, and kind of chases the knockout quite often. That's usually how and he's strong. Yeah, he's, he's got he's got a heavy right hand. Yes, so he pushes like, for that right hand. Out. But I think Tang Kai is a bit more polished in terms of boxing combinations mm. and implementing kicks and even using yeah. the clinch, clinch a bit better. Um, do you have a winner? Do you, have a, do you pick a winner? You said decision again. Cool. Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> no. Why not? Because I think they're pretty even. Uh, um, I think they're pretty even. Um, I think it can go anywhere, bro. It's just going to be who's going to, you know, put on the pace and be more slick and lay more traps and that kind of thing. Absolutely. I think I'll probably give it to Tang Kai because I think he's a bit, like I said, he's a bit of a more polished fighter. Mm. But let's see, let's see. Uh, it's difficult to bet on those because you know, like you said, they're very evenly matched. Um, but moving down the list is another rematch <laughs> and another type <laughs> of fight between Jared Brooks versus Joshua Pascal. Uh I'm not sure if you watched their first one. Also a decision fight, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to no, I didn't. I didn't uh, watch it. Went to unanimous decision. Um, and it was pretty much just Joshua trying to avoid getting taken down. Um, but he failed at doing that. And Jared Brooks, Jared Brooks was able to impose his game plan a lot better. Um, when they when they were standing, he had a bit more aggressive in the boxing exchanges, but he always got every single time he was able, always able to get Joshua down to the ground and, and just keep it there. There were no fishing for any submissions, but didn't really get any. Um, gun and pounded, but just control Joshua for that 25 minutes, really. Um, and that's pretty much what I think I hope doesn't happen, but that's what Joshua's going to heavily going to have to try and avoid. Um, because you know, Jared Brooks is just the boss of the wall, American wrestler, all American wrestler, just mm. badass, mm. full of energy, very aggressive, power driver kind of wrestler. And um, it'd be that's probably going to be his game plan again because I don't think Jared really wants to stand in box. So much with Joshua in this one. Yeah, not too much, I'm sure. Because Joshua's got he's I think he's a bit more more, more polished in the striking striking department. And that's gonna be the game plan. It's in the bat in a battle of a wrestler and a striker. That's the classic MMA uh, matchups. And that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, Jared Brooks, if he wins, he then keeps the title. Joshua wins, he gets the title again. And I think winner winner is probably gonna have to fight against Pokan in, in the future. Because Pokan won his last fight. Yeah. Africa. Africa. Do you have anything to say for that one? Um Yeah, I do. I like Jared Brooks. I like his <laughs> he's like, you know, always going ball, as you say, balls to the wall. He just comes in and fights very hard. So I would like him to win again so that there can be a rematch with him and Bukang. Yeah. I completely agree. So let's say yeah. to say that's and then for Joshua. Yeah. I think he's got a just Avoid, yeah, getting taken down or not getting taken down, really trying to get up, I think. Mm, and then mm. maybe trying to catch him coming in with, yeah. like, you know, with a knee or something. Yeah. That's his best chance. If he if has a chance for him to win, he's just going to have to keep it standing uh, at all times, at any cost, mm. going into that one. And then, um, pretty much for the rest of the card, I think the fight that's happening before the Jelly Brooks fight is also a heavyweight contenders fight between. Adan, what's his name? Arjan Bula and Amir Ali, Aba, Ali, Ali Akbari. Mm-hmm. The Russian dude. But those two fighters are pretty much, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're quite highly ranked in the top they're five. They're good, yeah. And um, one of them has fought, I think, Arjan has fought against Anatoly already and lost. Yes, he has. And also just got smashed. And also just got smashed. Didn't really get a chance to implement any of his kickboxing. Um, so this fight is pretty much a number one contender eliminator fight. Uh, when they oh, I see. That's what Good that nice. is. 
And then this is the card is no. not I'll be honest, unfamiliar names, but there is a fight that, that looks interesting, and that is the catchweight fight that which is actually a boxing match. It's not kickboxing, it's not MMA, MMA, it's not Muay Thai, it's not grappling, it's kickboxing. And that's between Zahir at Sahir Al Kwatani and Mahiri Zut Zatu. Mm. Yeah, and that's a boxing match. And then the match after that, or before that, sorry, is a, is a flyweight submission grappling match. And both those fighters are, if I'm not mistaken, are highly ranked as well. And that's Ozama okay. Al Marwani and Saliba Souza. Um, yeah, that's going to be a good grappling fight, too. I just want to make those mentions because those are fights to watch out for. This is the card. Can't say too much. I haven't really seen them fight, but you know, one time yeah. some fights and then. The fights are always banging, dude. Every every week, it's like, oh, so just going out to get the contract, yeah. to get the you know, get the bonus, exactly. put on a performance exactly. of a lifetime. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much my my breakdown. Our that's breakdown for it. It's a fighting for their life. It took a fighting for their life, yeah. Um, but anyway, you know, we can actually just close it there. Um, just wanted to make sure that everyone uh, catches the fight this weekend. It's oh, no, this Friday. Don't forget, it's Friday, first of March at of course, for South African time. That is in the afternoon. Um, anyway, that's it. That's our time, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Stay in touch with our latest content every update weekly. And we'll catch you soon on the next time when we recap this main event. Jedi, thank you so much, bro. Yes, Take it yeah. easy. And we'll, we'll do it again next week. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. <laughs>